What's good everybody, it's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the MGM where the Jonas Brothers have opened their first restaurant in Las Vegas here at Nelly's Southern Kitchen. Now if you're excited that the Jonas Brothers have opened a brand new restaurant here in Vegas, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and let's head on in and check out the food. All right guys, so we just got seated here at Melly Southern Kitchen, and honestly, I love the look of this place. It is such a great blend between rustic and modern. I love the hardwoods, I love the colors, and there's a lot of great accent pieces here that really set the vibe. Now guys, this is the Jonas Brothers' first restaurant here in Las Vegas. I'm really excited to see what kinds of things they can cook up. Let's take a quick look at the menu. Starting with the appetizers here, looks like they've already highlighted the Southern Rolls. I'm gonna give that a try. Their biscuits and gravy, you know, I'm gonna give that a try as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip over these salads. But looking at the entrees, looks like their chicken and waffles, chicken and dumplings, and the fried chicken are highlighted. I'll probably end up getting, oh, a meatloaf. You know what, I'm gonna probably grab one of those. Lots of southern comfort foods here. See what I have to order, it all looks so good. And if you take a look at the back side of the menu, you'll see burgers and sandwiches. Good looking sides here, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, french fries and fried okra. Some deluxe sides as well. Yeah, this is looking awesome. All right, looks like our server's on his way here. I'm gonna get our order in and be right back with some of that food. All right guys, so our first appetizer just arrived. We got a basket of biscuits and a trio of sauces. This is looking pretty good. Nice crispy biscuits. Now these biscuits come with a trio of sauces, a regular butter, a cinnamon, honey butter, as well as a jelly. I'm gonna be trying all three, let's check it out. Now first off, I'm just gonna try the biscuits straight up. Mmm, yeah, they're pretty tasty. Now the biscuit is super flaky, nice crust. You can see the little bit of air pockets in there as well. It's a pretty decent biscuit. Let's give it a try with some of the butters. Now first up is just a little bit of their standard butter. Now that's mostly just adding a lot of butter flavor to where there's already a lot of butter flavor. Next up, let's try a bite of this cinnamon honey butter. Mm. Oh yeah, that's real nice. The sweetness of that honey butter really starts to cut through a little bit of the richness of the butter in the biscuit. Pretty tasty. And lastly, I'm gonna try just a little bit of this jelly. That's pretty good also, but I think the cinnamon honey butter is definitely the winner here. All right, and the other appetizer just arrived as well. And this appetizer are the Southern Rolls. This was highlighted on their menu and one of their signatures. It's looking like a Southwestern egg roll that you might find at some other restaurants, but the kicker here is that I've never seen Southern egg rolls with huge chunks of mac and cheese in them. Let's see how these taste. All right, now picking these up, the skin feels ultra crispy, which means it's just out of the fryer, which is awesome. Yeah, you can see the mac and cheese, the collard greens, some kind of spice in there. Yeah, this is looking really good. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The skin, nice and crisp right as you bite into it. Contrary to the look, I thought it was gonna get some spice and a bit of a kick, but it's actually a little bit sweet. There's some kind of barbecue sauce in here that's really balancing out the richness of the macaroni and cheese. You do get a nice flavor from the macaroni and cheese, and the collard greens also just give a little bit of bite. This is actually pretty good. Let's try it in the sauce though. I think the waiter described this as a uh, slightly spicy, smoky sauce. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Yeah, that sauce definitely helps kick it up. As the waiter mentioned, just a hint of spice in there, but it is a barbecue sauce, so it adds a little more tang. This is a pretty good appetizer. So guys, the Jonas Brothers opened this restaurant with their family, and the name of the restaurant, Nelly, is actually after their grandmother. All of the recipes here are inspired by her recipes, and they're really trying to emphasize that Southern hospitality. We feel very, very welcome here. Plenty of people have come up to already greet us and say hello, and they're offering us really great service here, guys. This has been such a great experience so far. All right guys, so our entrees just arrived and as they arrived, I can't believe this happened, huge surprise. Mr. Jonas, father of the Jonas Brothers was here and came up to our table. We had a great conversation about where the restaurant came from and just how proud he is of his family. It was such a surreal experience, it was so cool. 
but now it's time to get in on this food. All right, guys, so check out these entrees. I got this meatloaf. It's massive on a huge plate. I love the crust on this thing. It's looking really well baked. The mashed potatoes, I love the skin on mashed potatoes. It just gives that little extra flavor. These green beans are looking really good as well. And then over here, we also got the fried chicken plate. Now this thing is truly looking massive. I think this is half a chicken. Deep fried to golden perfection here, along with some mac and cheese and these collard greens. This is looking so good. I can't wait any longer. We have to dive in right now. Now the first bite I'm gonna take is a bite of this meatloaf. Now cutting into it, it did have a nice texture on the outside. The tell was well baked, but you could see all of these seasonings inside to see the root vegetables, all the aromatics. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know how else to explain it. The meatloaf flavor comes as a symphony. It's different waves. Now, right as you bite into it, the first thing you taste is this really intense beef flavor. It's really deep. And then after that, you get all of these aromatics, the root vegetables, it really comes to kick things off. And then actually you taste the smoothness of the gravy. It's just waves and waves of flavor. It's really well balanced, but it's really delicious, guys. Let's try a bite of these mashed potatoes. Now, as I mentioned, I love skin on mashed potatoes. I think it always gives us that extra depth of flavor. These are looking really good. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that's really good. It's really creamy, but they intentionally left some chunks of potato in there. I love that rustic technique. The gravy is just so perfect. It's really well balanced when it comes to the beefiness and the saltiness. It's such a great compliment to the mashed potatoes. All very rich, but it's all really delicious. All right, and real quick, let's try one of these green beans. Green beans look nice. They still hold some of their shade, which means they were blanched just long enough. Let's see how these are. Mm. Those are pretty solid green beans. Guys, if you watch any of my other videos, you know I keep it 100 with you. I think this is one of the best meatloafs I've ever had in my entire life. All right, now my meatloaf was really, really good, but while it's still hot, I'm gonna steal just a little bit from this fried chicken plate. Get this nice drumstick here. I mean, this skin is crispy, and I love the color on this. You can tell that there's a decent amount of seasoning in here. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty good fried chicken. The chicken meat is nice and juicy, lots of great flavor, and the crust has great seasoning in it, great crunch. It just brings a level of comfort when you bite into it. It's just really solid fried chicken. Mm. Oh yeah, if this is Southern comfort, I'm all about it. All right, next up, let's try some of this mac and cheese. I mean, this is ultra creamy, ultra cheesy. Look at that cheese pull. You can see little bits of black pepper in there as well, so you know it's well seasoned. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh man, this mac and cheese is terrific. Guys, the creaminess of the cheese is not to be understated. Lots of nice gooey cheese really giving that richness. There's something about the aftertaste, something as you're finishing your bite. I'm not sure if it's like a hint of onion powder or garlic. Something is really, really delicious here. That deliciousness just lingers after you're finished eating. This is really good. Okay, and lastly, let's try these collards. Color looks great on them. You can tell they've been stewed properly. You can see bits of bacon in there as well. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Those are really great collard greens. Now, right off the bat, you get the nice kind of bitterness of those collards, but there is definitely that sweetness that comes from whatever it was stewed in. The bacon adds a little bit of saltiness. Overall, it's really well balanced with just that nice, perfect amount of heat. These are really good collards. Oh man, hats off to the Jonas family and big ups to Grandma Nelly. These dishes are outstanding. And guys, I'm telling you, I think I found my new favorite meatloaf. Mm. I sure hope I'm gonna have room for dessert today because I'm going to demolish this plate right now. All right guys, so we finished with our entrees here and our dessert just came as well. And they've got a really great looking banana pudding here. Take a look at this mini mason jar filled with this creamy looking banana pudding. And if you look on the top, they've brulee in Nelly's silhouette. This is pretty classy to be honest. And really even down to their dessert, 
their mix of rustic with modern. I love the theme, it's a great vibe, and honestly, you really feel the Southern hospitality here. All right, let's try this banana pudding. That tastes great. Now, I'm a huge fan of banana pudding. Not only do you get that great banana flavor, you have these vanilla wafers in there giving just a little bit of chew, a little bit of extra vanilla flavor as well, and this cream that they brulee on the top is just absolute magic. All right, guys, so that does it for us here at Nelly's Southern Kitchen. Now, taking a quick look at the check, we were able to get dinner here for about $128 total, but they did cop us our banana pudding, which was really, really nice of them. We were really feeling the love here. The food was great. The service was great. Everyone was ultra friendly. We really enjoyed our experience. I think the MGM has such a gem of an addition when it comes to restaurants here with Nelly Southern Kitchen. I can see myself coming back here for that meatloaf all the time, for sure. All right, and that's all for this video. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin, bye.